Well, campers, you've asked for it, now I'm going to give it to you. The interview with the great and talented Megan Fallenbach. Yes, folks, we're going to go have tea with Megan. <laughs> knock, knock. One of the best parts about what I do is the people I work with because like I said, I think I've got the best job in the whole world, but it's the people I work with and Megan Fallenbach has actually invited us into her home to interview her. So thank you, Megan. You're welcome, Kristen. Hello, everyone. Hello. Um, so what is your, uh, what's your whole name? My whole name? Megan Smith, Ruby Ann, Jessica Isabel Gwadek Fallenbach. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> Megan Smith Fallenbach, that'd be me. Nice. Um, so we actually met a long time ago. Uh, Megan was on TV. She did a lot of commercials. And um, I noticed when I started getting going into the voice world, uh, I started doing a lot of commercials uh, and I kept running into Megan and um, well, enough about me. But anyways, <laughs> Megan, where where did you get your start? Where did I get my start? Oh, wow. Okay, we're going way back. Yeah. Grade six, Peter Pan. I was Peter Pan. That is when I became in love with this work that we do and I basically was Peter in grade six to all the, the whole school, the whole grade school called me Peter and I thought that was the best thing ever. <laughs> I was like, I've been, I've affected these people. Like they're looking up to me. I, I really felt like, I just loved it. I guess I like being in the spotlight. So something. you were, you were an actor. Like you, you started off with some stage and stuff. For... Yeah. So I did like plays, plays, plays. And then when I was a couple of years later, I got sort of discovered in a store um, well, I, when I went to buy smokes for my mom, it's really <laughs> impressive. <laughs> Back when you can buy smokes for your mom when you're With the 13. note? <laughs> no, no needed. No, no needed. That's great. Um, anyway, and uh, I got discovered by this photographer, so I started doing a bit of modeling, which also then led me to commercials. Mm -hmm. And uh, and then I ended up doing a movie of the week not that long after that. And I flew over to Budapest, Hungary. What? I shaved. I played a concentration camp survivor in a uh, yeah, MOW, and uh, then I took a big break. I took a big long break and, you know, became a water skier and did all sorts of crazy things, got my degree and all that, so stay in school, kids. That's right. We'll get That's to right. that later. That's right. And then I got back into it. So now I've been in it for, you know, 10 years plus, and it was a bit of a grind, but the voice work, uh, thankfully, sort of um, came to me, or I came upon it and the very first commercial that I voiced over was one that Christian was starring in and that is Which, exactly how we met KD. Snap uh, size KD. That's right. Easy Mac. I can reenact it. Watch. Hey buddy, where's Cheryl? I was talking to my dog. That was you. Yeah. That's right. I remember that. Um, because Stacy DePass was also the voice of one of the first commercials I did for MSN. And we met years later. She there goes, you go. hey. no. And then the three of us all found ourselves on the set of 16. That's right. That's really awesome. But wait a second. Now, you started off doing films and theater. Yeah. And I remember when I was in theater school, um, there was a a girl in my class who had a very raspy voice and they actually sent her to a doctor because they were like your voice isn't good for film or TV uh, and especially stage because it was so it sounded like she was straining she had a raspy voice and they actually found out that she had vocal notes mm -hmm. but that voice quality later on in life for her uh, paid off because of the uh, you know the voice world the voiceover world and it was actually a quality that was looking for now you have a very distinct voice I know yes. when I hear you <laughs> I I go you that's Megan me. that is <laughs> Megan yes so how did how did the voice world all start for you so I guess what happened was I was uh, everywhere I went and every audition I did we were like you've got this great voice like you must do a lot of voice work and I said no actually because the agency I was with for some reason the the voice agent sort of had her people so she was never all that interested in me so when I left the agency and went to a new agency the first thing the new agency said was hey you've got this really distinctive voice like you should do voiceover 
work. So I was like, right on, I'm into anything. Like I, I'm an actor, that's what I do. I wanna do it all. Um, so that's kind of how it started. I started auditioning and taking classes, of course, cause you really, it's important to mm -hmm. take classes and you know, really listen to the radio and take classes and watch a lot of cartoons and slowly but surely uh, people started to uh, want to hire me. That's so cool. yeah, it's been great so far. And uh, yeah, that whole thing about what you were saying about like the it's not good for stage, it's not mm -hmm. good for, you know, I'll, I've heard that in class before. I've had teachers say, you know, your voice sounds wounded or yeah, yeah. like, well, it makes me a lot of money. So <laughs> piss off. There you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Okay, so this is like, I think my second time working one of these. I think this is working. All right, I'm going to ask Christian a little question um, that you guys have all wanted to know. Here we go. Hi. 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 Christian? Yeah? How old's your baby? Uh, my baby <laughs> is about 30 seconds old. Great. Yeah. Name? Uh... Uh, Ma Megan Christensen. Oh, Ma Megan Christensen. Christensen. I'm so honored. You just named your baby after me? Yeah. <laughs> I, uh, I found this next to your hockey bag and I thought, well, you got one. I want one too. You know, I... somebody has something, like someone's eating a sandwich and you're like, I want a sandwich. It's yeah. Like, I want a baby. Yeah. So I now have a baby. And it's I... like, instead of pastrami, you've got a baby. And now you won't feel, you know, I'm just going to conduct the rest of this interview with uh, my baby as well. Yeah. So you, what, as, as. Yours is, oh, yours is doing a lot. It's a really, it seems very advanced. It's my a very baby's advanced got baby. Kung Fu grip. Yes, <laughs> serious kung fu, kung fu fight. That baby does learn a lot look at from this, it. Though, look at this. <laughs> what do you think about my baby? <laughs> you like your oh, baby? Oh <laughs> man, that's hilarious. Are you laughing? She's pretty funny. We're going on a play date. My baby is gonna play with Megan's baby. I don't think your kid likes my kid. I don't know what's going on with that. <laughs> Ready? Oh, there we go. Clear. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> my kid's a genius. 